the students have asked for a demonstration and a paint along of doing some rocks and water. We are now going to do rockness. We are going to be putting a little bit of moss on some of these rocks. You know, when you've been inside, the, you know, in the forest and you see these rocks, they're not, they're not sterile rocks. There's moss and crud that's growing on it. There's fungi. There's uh, leaves from last year, mulch. You know, we're going to put the hint of that. But we want to start out clean. Now, we're going to start out with nature's gray. And nature's gray is going to be white, burnt sienna, and blue. Now, you've heard me say white, burnt sienna, and blue a lot. That's exactly the colors we use for our sky. White, burnt sienna, and blue. We have father sky and mother earth. And this mixture of white, burnt sienna, and blue is a tremendous natural gray. And the value of it is determined by how much white we use. So I'm just going to now, I, I, I've just come up with a one gray. Now, this is a time when every time you go to the palette, change your color. Just a little bit. So I put that mark in there. Now there's another mark. Now I'm going to go a little bit bluer, and this time I'm going to put a little touch of red with it. I'm going darker, a little more burnt sienna, now more blue, a little raw sienna this time. Now more blue, a little more burnt sienna. Now a little more raw sienna, and touch, go back to white. Touch a white here. A little bit more white. And a, a little burnt sienna to it. A little more blue. A little more white. This time a little touch of orange. As I'm coming down my, my pile of rocks here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the shadow side. So I go to the burnt sienna blue and a little bit more of this red. Okay, a little more burnt sienna. I'm not thinking rocks. I'm not thinking rocks. I'm thinking rock color. Okay, I'm thinking rock color. Now a little more burnt sienna. Now a little bit more white and touch of blue this time. A little touch of red. A little more white, touch of red. A little more white, a little more blue. I have a mass of rock colors. These are kind of my number two colors, believe it or not. So now I'm going to take straight burnt sienna with blue and get a very, very dark gray. And now this is where the imagination kicks in. All right, I have to look at this. I have to look at this and now let the rocks tell me what to do. Now this has to do with a facility called pre-visualization. Right? I'm thinking rockness when I put this in. And when I think of rockness, I'm thinking mainly of color. And now I need to let my imagination tell me where I see rocks. So I'm going to look at these brush strokes. I'm going to look at these variations. 
and I'm going to start putting in rocks where I see these marvelous accidental borders, accidental borders between ro one rock and another. Now, as you watch here, I think you're going to start to see rocks evolving where I see these borders. I'm using my imagination. I'm using pre-visualization, as it were. You probably have way more than you expect. Yeah, that's it's a very dark color. Now, I'm going to try to suggest some strata here. I see a kind of a line going there. I see a border between the rocks here. And you see this kind of a... Now, another thing that helps if, is if you blur your eye. One of the things I do is I will blur my eye and look over the top of my glasses, which blurs everything. And in the blur, <laughs> I spend a lot of time in the blur. <laughs> so uh, in the blur, I start to see things Right now, I'm blurring my eyes, and I'm starting to see rocks in here. Are you starting to see rocks? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> These rocks are telling me where they are. They were hiding in that mass of rocky colors. But do you see this right in here? Right there is the border of it couple of rocks. These darks are isolating some of these rocks that are down in here. There are rocks galore. You see that? Now, what do we see over here? Rocks. More rocks. Now, there are times when the rocks, it's a large rock, it's a large rock and almost a cliff. So I see almost a cliff over here. And then I see a little bit of a, like a, a shale kind of thing there. I need to give myself a little bit more paint here. I'm running out of my blue, so I'm going to mix up some blue. So do you see how I started with what basically became a number two color for my rocks. Now I'm adding a number three color, which is isolating the rocks with a shadow. There's a shadow that I'm putting in on the underside of these rocks, which is kind of isolating them the way the dark shadow in my trees isolated the forms in my trees. Are you with me on that? We put the number two down for the trees first. Then we put the number three down. And then we came back with the number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing something very similar here. We put the number two down first, which happened to be quite a dark color. Now I'm going to go in and as these, these things develop, I'm starting to see a huge amount of rocks and design in this rocky bank here. And as this develops, I'm starting to see where the light is going to be. Now this rock is right in front, right here. And this rock is going to be kind of in where my pool is going to be coming out. 
So I'm going to put some darks in front of my pool. Now there's going to be some darks coming up from underneath in my pool in a few places. So as I'm doing these darks, I'm making notations that are going to be beneficial to me as my painting develops. Now, this is probably far enough for right now. There's going to be, I'm going to have a little more work to do here. But I want to show you what adding the number ones, the number one values is going to do. Okay, so we have the number two, and we're suggesting some of the number threes in our values. Watch what happens when we start putting the number ones in here. So what, what are the number ones? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white over here to the pool and a touch of orange. Watch what happens now as I put a number one or a stroke of light where the light is hitting. The light is getting through and illuminating some of these rocks. Here's a little stroke of light that's getting through the dapple of the forest. The light source is coming from the upper left. Well, the light is, is coming from around behind this. Okay. See, the light is coming from upper left okay. because we're going to be putting some lights here. Okay. We haven't gotten there yet. Okay. So now I'm, I'm continuing on. So I want to put some light on that rock there. I'm going to put some light on this rock. And this rock is going to have a little more light. And, and there might be a stroke of light that's gotten through and hit right here and something right in here. I'm going to put a little bit of rock right there. putting a little bit of light in a few places here where the light is sneaking through. And you should be able to see some of those rocks. Now there's more that we're going to do with this, but this is enough for now for you.